Hey, what's up? Colby Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we talk about awesome books. That's what we're doing today. We're talking about an amazing book. Amazing books help kids fall in love with reading. And this is one that's going to bring a lot of kids even deeper into their love of books. Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yee, a February 2022 release from Random House Children's Books. Uh, Maisie and her mom live in Los Angeles, California, where Maisie's mom works as a food designer. I don't know what the right term is. I can't remember. Uh, but it's where she designs foods for advertisements and commercials and movies and all that stuff. So it looks good, right? Like take make, make the McDonald's fries out of something else, take the picture, looks all fancy, everyone wants to eat the fries. So anyways, um, Maisie's mom and the Maisie's mom's parents, Maisie's grandparents don't have a very good relationship. Uh, Maisie's mom is from Last Chance, Minnesota, where her family owned a, and still owns a Chinese restaurant. And, but, they don't really go there. The parents came like once. It didn't, it just didn't go very well. But, but Maisie's grandfather is really sick. So they go home, they drive home and they're gonna go there and it ends up being quite a bit longer of a trip than I thought originally. Uh, and the grandfather, Opa, is not doing well. And um, it's pretty sad. And uh, you get a chance to see like this relationship of all these different family members, I guess the four of them who don't really know each other. At least Maisie doesn't really know her grandparents that well, so watching her get to know them. Uh, but what I, what, one of the things I loved so much about this book is that the grandfather tells Maisie stories about her ancestors and how their family came from China to the United States, how they ended up in Last Chance, Minnesota, like multi-generational story. You get all of these, I don't know if like flashbacks is the right word but like you're just like reading along and then you get to a chapter here, like you see, and it says like the year that it happened. And you get this story all the way up until um, Maisie's grandfather. It's just so good. It's so interesting, it's fascinating, it's heartbreaking to just see how Chinese Americans have been treated in this country and are still being treated. There is some racism happening currently in the book and it connects with all of the things that have happened in the past. It's so good, friends. You're gonna to wanna to read it. You're gonna to wanna to add it to your to read list. The characters in this book are amazing. I love like this little, like these, like even the minor characters, like you just wanna to get to know them so much. And when like Maisie's learning, like the more you get to know someone, the more you understand them and realize things about them. Like she felt certain ways about these characters, certain characters, like certain restaurant customers. And then she like realized why they're doing the things that they did. And I think it's going to blow kids' minds. I think it's going to blow readers' minds. I highly recommend Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yi. You're going to get it and you're going to read it. And you're not going to be able to stop turning pages. And then you're going to want to walk into your classroom, your library and book talk it. Because <sighs> it's really, really good. It will warm your soul. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.